Designs. Today I'm going to show you how I do my Inkjoy gel pens, um, or my rhinestone pens. You can make them with just one color, but I really like this pretty spiral design. So that's what we're going to work on today. Um, this is good for beginners too, but if you don't feel comfortable making it in the spiral, you can use one color. But that's what we're going to work on. So let's get started. Okay, so... There's two ways of doing it. I've tried it both ways. Um, you can use just the regular black. If you're going to make a colored pen, like to match your rhinestones, um, you can spray, you know, once I show you how to take it apart, you can spray paint it. What other color match? And so if you see any underneath, you'll still see the same color and just make sure you seal it. I usually use um, Rust-Oleum to seal them. Or what I've been doing, because it's just easier, is I will get a pen that kind of sort of matches the color. So we're, we're not going to need to spray paint or anything else for this project. The thing we're going to do is we're going to take the pen apart, the tip where the ink is. There we go. Sometimes they're a little hard to get off. So you have your tip, you have your ink, and you have your clicker, which comes in two parts. So after we do that, um, I just take these wire cutters, I get right down um, there underneath um, this clip and I just kind of turn and it just comes right off. And I have found that when you do it that way, you don't have very much to sand. I'm just gonna take my sanding block and there's like a little notch here and then, then the notch where the clicker, like it's really not bad guys because I got it down there real good. But this paper, whatever you're using, just so the rhinestones will adhere. I'm gonna spray it down with some rubbing alcohol. I do, I usually fold up a towel so that the end part, the flat part, um, is overhanging. Um, and that's just so we can set our anchor row. Um, I have my, I, I like to use liquid fusion. So that's what, what's in this bottle here. Um, Okay, so the colors we're going to use are, um, and they, I'm kind of mixing up because I didn't have white from Diamond Fire Rhinestones, but they are my favorite rhinestone company to get rhinestones from. And when I use my pens, I use size SS10, except for right around where the clicker goes, I use the smaller size, which is an SS6. And this one, um, so let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna put a thin line of glue around that bottom tip. And you can use the wand of your needle here to spread it if you need to. And then I just wipe the excess off on a paper towel Put our, and I figured this this pink would be pretty um, for summer, so that's why I picked this color. I have tons of colors to pick from, but that's my favorite. Oh, and you're gonna need a rhinestone picker. The wax end is to pick up your rhinestones. The metal tip part is if you need to move them. Okay, so I'm just picking it up and then placing it right at the end. And then I'm gonna go around, for this design, I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna alternate from pink to white.
of doing it that. Okay, so we're gonna move on. We're gonna put, for each line, for each row of glue, uh, rhinestones you put on, you'll put another uh, row of glue. Um, there are other rhinestone and glues out there. I just found that liquid fusion works the best for me. And then we're gonna be doing the honeycomb pattern. So if you look at my stones, so in between, like say these two, we'll put a rhinestone, we'll put one in between there. You're gonna go in between the two previous stones. And this pink one here, I'm gonna, to start our spiral, I'm going to put it to the next row over, so you can see. And then we're gonna do that all the way around the pen. And then make sure when you do that, that you're pushing those stones all the way up against those two previous stones. Second row, then what I like to do is just kind of push them up some just to make sure they're all good and even. Now you don't have to do it this way. This is just the way I like to do it because I like mine to be nice and uniform and tight in there. So I do take the extra time just for each row. Um, you know, going forward. So then we'll put another row of glue on and it's gonna be the same way all to the pen till we get to the clicker. all the way to the tip first what we're gonna do is put some glue around and like I said you only have a very tiny bit on the end so we're gonna put some glue on there and be careful not to get any glue on the beads that are already on there and it won't hurt them. They just, they might lose their shine. So we're gonna follow along with the same pattern. So where you see a, a pink and white bead here, I mean rhinestone, we're gonna go in between with the pink. And these are really, really tiny. They're SS6 size. pen and all we're going to do is put it back together 
And a good thing about making the rhinestone pens over the epoxy pens is you don't have to worry about any epoxy getting on the inside. Unless you're super sloppy with your glue at the tip, you don't have to worry about anything. So the two parts here, the colored part goes in to the silver part and it goes down toward the rounded end. Put your pen back and then the tip. Just screw that on and then we're done. It's done.